When you are interested in serious radio experiments, this could be a good idea. It's a tuning capacitor and that tuning capacitor is mounted here on the back side. Everything, by the way, uh, is mounted on wood, well varnished wood, um, to keep the say stray capacitance as small as possible. And here you see the more or less first set up. This is the scale I'm going to say write in the scales tomorrow. And uh, well, it is a tuning capacitor that goes from 20 picofarad to 2200 picofarad. And this is the capacitance meter. It, the circuit is published on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, as far as I know. And I will try to give the link. It has some, say, ranges here. Uh, most important thing is, of course, the schematic. And I've used here a very cheap tuning capacitor. Say it costs uh, 3 euros or so, 3 dollars. Doesn't have to be expensive. And with that cap, when you turn it, you can get to, say, different capacitor values. And that could be very interesting when you want to make radio circuits. So with some positions in the circuit, uh, switch 1 and uh, switch 0, 2 and 0, uh, 2 and A, 2 and B, 2 and C, 2 and D, you get different uh, capacitor values that are, say, uh, generated, not generated of course, it's passive, but anyway, uh, that these values are here. Between these two electrodes, the top here and here the ground electrode. Uh, again, here the tuning cap, here. It's very simple and also very cheap. Uh, so, could be interesting for all kinds of reasons. Um, here is the scale. And when you turn here that scale, and I'm gonna mount all the reading, sorry, uh, write all the uh, reading, all the values on it, you can get to different uh, capacitor values. Here is the uh, capacitance meter. I'm now on 0 and 2, and that means uh, that the reading must be between 15 picofarad and 500 picofarad. Well, somewhat complicated scale, of course. It's a red scale, and it is 500 here. And now it goes back to, say, 50 picofarad. Uh, let's go to position 2. Here, 2 and A. So here we switch to A. And according to all my calculations, that must be between 410 picofarad and 860 picofarad. Well, let's see where, if it fits. It's a red scale. Well, here is 700 picofarad. So, uh, well, uh, turn it back to, say, 470 picofarad. Anyway, uh, of course, when you, when you use capacitors, uh, many capacitors here that you are using could be using in the circuit have a very high tolerance. 10% percent, percent, or even 20%. Percent. So you see all the caps that I've soldered together, parallel of course, to try to get to the right value 
according to my calculations and my ideas to get a kind of overlap in all these capacitor bands. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's a simple circuit, but I think it's very useful, especially when you want to do radio experiments. Thanks for watching.